Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome history aficionados to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck, here with Marco, ready to unravel the threads of the past. House life in the history lane Marco. Couldn't be better Chuck. There's always something new to discover, even in the oldest stories. And speaking of stories, we've got a monumental one today. Indeed, we're delving into the Battle of the Nile in 47 BC, a clash that shaped empires and legends. Remember listeners, your support through ratings, subscriptions, and shares brings history to more ears. And for those who've been with us, check out our new merchandise and suggest future topics on our social media. Let's transport ourselves back over two millennia to a time when the Mediterranean world was a chessboard of power, ambition, and intrigue. The year is 47 BC, and the Roman Republic stands as a towering beacon of civilization. Yet it is deeply embroiled in a series of civil wars, with Julius Caesar and Pompey the Great vying for control. Across the sea lies Egypt, an ancient kingdom teeming with wealth, culture, and scholarly pursuits. But beneath its grandeur, Egypt is ensnared in a dynastic struggle. The young pharaoh Ptolemy XIII and his sister, Cleopatra VII, are at the heart of this conflict, each seeking to consolidate power in a realm where sibling rivalry extends far beyond mere quarrels, involving armies, fleets, and the very fate of their nation. And here's where the paths of Rome and Egypt intertwine. Caesar, fresh from his victories and pursuits across the Roman world, finds himself in Alexandria. Egypt's storied city by the sea. His initial goal might have been to chase down Pompey, his rival, but fate had other plans. He's quickly drawn into the local power struggle, making a fateful decision that would alter the course of history. It's a decision motivated by politics, resources, and perhaps, the charm of Cleopatra. She sought Caesar's support to regain her throne, setting the stage for a showdown that wasn't just about Egypt's throne but about the balance of power in the ancient world. Imagine the bustling streets of Alexandria, a melting pot of Greek, Egyptian, and Roman cultures. Its markets filled with spices, silks, and scholars debating philosophy. The lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, casts its beam over the harbor, where Roman galleys and Egyptian ships bob in the waters. But beneath this veneer of prosperity and knowledge, tensions simmer. Caesar's arrival and his subsequent actions light the fuse of a conflict that will see streets turn into battlegrounds, alliances forged and broken, and a legacy that will echo through the ages. This is the world of 47 BC. A world on the brink of transformation, where the actions of a few will dictate the future of many. A story of power, betrayal, and romance that continues to fascinate us, centuries later. The lead-up to the Battle of the Nile is a tapestry of political machinations, personal ambitions, and strategic decisions that set the stage for conflict. The story begins with Julius Caesar's arrival in Alexandria, not as a mere visitor, but as a Roman consul and general at the zenith of his power, pursuing his defeated rival, Pompey the Great, into Egypt. Upon Caesar's arrival, he's thrust into the midst of Egypt's dynastic turmoil. Ptolemy XIII and Cleopatra VII, siblings and co-rulers, are embroiled in a fierce struggle for the throne. The kingdom is divided, with factions aligning behind each sibling, turning family dispute into a national crisis. Cleopatra, ever the astute politician and strategist, seeks to win Caesar's favor, understanding the weight of Roman support in her bid for power. Her legendary meeting with Caesar, supposedly smuggled into the royal palace in a rug, is a testament to her ingenuity and determination. She presents herself not just as a queen, but as a partner who could offer Caesar substantial military and financial resources. Caesar's decision to back Cleopatra was not taken lightly. He was well aware of the complexities of Egyptian politics and the potential backlash from Ptolemy's supporters. Yet, Caesar saw in Cleopatra a ruler who could stabilize Egypt and align it with Roman interests. His intervention on her behalf was a calculated move, aiming to secure Rome's southern flank and ensure the flow of Egypt's abundant grain to Rome. The implications of Caesar's support for Cleopatra were immediate and profound. Ptolemy XIII, enraged and threatened by the Roman interference, mobilized his forces against Caesar. Alexandria, the jewel of the Mediterranean, soon became a war zone. Caesar, 
initially in Alexandria for diplomatic reasons, found himself besieged, his legions outnumbered, and his position precarious. Yet, Caesar was no stranger to adversity. He fortified his position within the royal palace in the strategic lighthouse, issuing orders to secure key points in the city and harbor. The stage was set for a confrontation that would determine not only the fate of Egypt but also the balance of power in the ancient Mediterranean world. This prelude to battle is a story of ambition clashing with ambition, where the fates of empires and individuals were intertwined. As Caesar prepared to face Ptolemy's forces, both sides understood the stakes were high. For Caesar and Cleopatra, victory meant a secure throne and a powerful ally. For Ptolemy, it was about survival and maintaining the status quo. With Alexandria on the brink, the ancient world held its breath, waiting to see how the dice would fall. And as we'll see, the Battle of the Nile was not just a clash of armies, but a pivotal moment in history, shaped by the decisions of a few key players in this grand chess game of power. The Battle of the Nile, while often summarized as a singular event, was in reality a sequence of calculated moves, daring strategies, and pivotal confrontations that unfolded over the course of several weeks. It was a testament to Julius Caesar's military genius and the resilience of his forces, as well as the tenacity of the Egyptian defenders. Our story of conflict begins with Caesar's strategic entrenchment within Alexandria. With his forces significantly outnumbered, he made the bold decision to secure his position within the royal palace and the adjacent areas, including the all-important Pharos Lighthouse, which controlled access to the harbor. Caesar's initial strategy was defensive, aimed at holding key positions until reinforcements could arrive. However, he was soon forced into action. Ptolemy XIII's forces, seeking to exploit their numerical advantage, launched a series of assaults on Caesar's positions attempting to breach the Roman defenses and capture the palace. One of the most dramatic moments came when Ptolemy's army attempted to cut off the Roman supply lines by sea. Caesar, recognizing the critical nature of this move, orchestrated a daring counterattack. Utilizing small, agile ships, Caesar's forces engaged the enemy fleet in the harbor in a naval battle that showcased his adaptability and willingness to take risks. Meanwhile, on land, the fighting intensified. The streets of Alexandria became a battleground, with Caesar's legions clashing with Ptolemy's soldiers and mercenaries. The Romans, though outnumbered, were disciplined and well-led, holding their ground against waves of attackers. A turning point came when Caesar decided to take a calculated risk by setting fire to some of the Egyptian ships docked in the harbor to prevent their use by Ptolemy's forces. The fire, however, spread more than intended, damaging parts of the city, including the famous Library of Alexandria a tragic loss to history. Amidst the chaos, Ptolemy attempted a strategic maneuver, moving part of his army to occupy positions on the island of Pharos. This move threatened to outflank Caesar and cut his forces off from their naval support. In response, Caesar personally led a counterattack, a bold amphibious assault that ultimately succeeded in capturing the island and securing control of the lighthouse. The capture of Pharos was a crucial victory for Caesar. It solidified his control over Alexandria's harbor and ensured the arrival of much-needed reinforcements from nearby Roman territories. With fresh troops and supplies, Caesar could now take the offensive. The final blow came with a decisive engagement outside the walls of Alexandria. Caesar's reinforced legions, now on the offensive, clashed with Ptolemy's forces. The battle was fierce, but the momentum had shifted. The disciplined Roman legions, led by Caesar, broke through the Egyptian lines, leading to a rout of Ptolemy's army. In the aftermath of this pivotal battle, Ptolemy is said to have drowned in the Nile while attempting to flee. With Ptolemy's death, resistance to Caesar's intervention crumbled, and Cleopatra was solidified in her position as the uncontested ruler of Egypt, allied closely with Rome. The Battle of the Nile was not just a military victory for Caesar, it was a masterclass in leadership, strategy, and the art of war. It secured Rome's influence in Egypt and reshaped the geopolitical landscape of the ancient Mediterranean. The aftermath of the Battle of the Nile reverberated far beyond the borders of Egypt and Rome, altering the course of history in ways that still resonate today. With Ptolemy's demise and Cleopatra firmly installed as the uncontested ruler of Egypt, a new chapter began for the ancient world. Indeed Marco.
The victory at the Nile didn't just signify a military triumph for Julius Caesar, it cemented a strategic alliance between Rome and Egypt, one that would have far-reaching implications. Cleopatra's relationship with Caesar, both political and personal, positioned Egypt as a key ally to Rome, ensuring its resources and wealth were at the disposal of the Republic. This alliance, however, was not merely a matter of resources. It represented a blending of cultures, ideas, and power. Cleopatra's reign, supported by Caesar, brought about a period of stability and prosperity in Egypt. Her intelligent rule was marked by economic and cultural advancements, as she sought to integrate Egyptian traditions with Greco-Roman practices, thereby enriching the cultural tapestry of her kingdom. On the Roman front, Caesar's success in Egypt bolstered his standing in Rome. His triumph was not only a testament to his military prowess but also his diplomatic skill in navigating the complex political landscape of Egypt. The wealth and grain secured from Egypt played a critical role in sustaining Caesar's campaigns and in consolidating his power back home, setting the stage for the transformation of the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Yet, the implications of the Battle of the Nile extended beyond these immediate gains. The alliance between Caesar and Cleopatra, and the subsequent events that unfolded in Rome, would eventually lead to the end of the Roman Republic. The concentration of power in the hands of individuals like Caesar, was a pivotal factor in the Republic's transition to imperial rule, with Caesar's adopted heir, Augustus, eventually becoming the first Roman emperor. The battle also had a lasting impact on Egypt. Cleopatra's rule, while prosperous, was also the beginning of the end for the Ptolemaic dynasty. Her eventual defeat and the subsequent Roman annexation of Egypt marked the decline of one of the world's oldest continuous civilizations. Egypt, with its vast resources and strategic location, became a vital province of the Roman Empire, its identity and autonomy increasingly subsumed by Roman administration and culture. Moreover, the Battle of the Nile and its aftermath underscored the interconnectedness of the ancient Mediterranean world. The dynamics between Rome and Egypt highlighted how the fates of empires were interlinked, with alliances, marriages, and wars influencing the political and cultural landscapes across regions. In the broader sweep of history, the battle exemplifies the complexities of leadership, the intricacies of international relations, and the profound impact of individual decisions on the course of history. The legacy of the Battle of the Nile is a testament to the enduring influence of ancient civilizations on our modern world, from governance and diplomacy to culture and beyond. The immediate aftermath of the Battle of the Nile, while a decisive victory for Caesar and Cleopatra, came at a significant cost. The casualties of this conflict were not just numbers, they represented the loss of countless lives, both military and civilian. That underscored the brutal reality of ancient warfare. Indeed Marco. The exact figures may be lost to history, but contemporary accounts suggest that the losses were substantial on both sides. Ptolemy's army, comprised of Egyptian soldiers, Greek mercenaries, and local militias, suffered heavy casualties in their desperate attempts to repel Caesar's legions and maintain control over Alexandria. Beyond the battlefield, the citizens of Alexandria bore the brunt of the conflict. The siege and subsequent battles within the city resulted in significant destruction including the tragic loss of part of the Great Library of Alexandria. This event symbolizes the broader impact of the battle on the cultural and intellectual heritage of the ancient world. The lasting legacy of the Battle of the Nile is multifaceted. Militarily, it demonstrated Julius Caesar's tactical genius and adaptability, reinforcing his reputation as one of history's greatest military commanders. It also highlighted the effectiveness of Roman military discipline and the strategic importance of naval power in ancient warfare. Politically, the battle solidified a pivotal alliance between Rome and Egypt, shaping the geopolitical landscape of the Mediterranean for decades to come. The relationship between Caesar and Cleopatra, intertwined with political alliance and personal connection, became a cornerstone of this new era influencing subsequent events that led to the rise of the Roman Empire and the end of the Egyptian Ptolemaic dynasty. Culturally, the aftermath of the battle and the subsequent Roman influence on Egypt marked a period of significant cultural exchange. While the Roman annexation of Egypt centuries later would bring about profound changes, the immediate aftermath of the battle saw a blending of Egyptian, Greek, and Roman customs and traditions, enriching the cultural fabric of Alexandria and beyond.
The legacy of the Battle of the Nile also serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of power and the fragility of civilizations. Egypt, once a dominant empire in the ancient world, would find its fate irrevocably altered, becoming a vital yet subservient part of the expanding Roman Empire. Moreover, the battle's lasting impact on historical and popular imagination cannot be overstated. It has inspired countless works of literature, art, and scholarship, becoming a symbol of the complex interplay of ambition, power, and destiny that defines human history. As we reflect on the casualties and lasting legacy of the Battle of the Nile, it's clear that its echoes are not just found in the annals of history but in the collective memory of humanity. It serves as a testament to the enduring influence of the ancient world on our modern lives, reminding us of the lessons learned from the triumphs and tragedies of the past. The Battle of the Nile, therefore, stands not just as a historical event but as a milestone in the narrative of human civilization, its consequences shaping the course of history long beyond the lifetimes of those who fought and died on its shores. As we reach the conclusion of today's journey through time, revisiting the Battle of the Nile and its monumental impact, we're reminded of the evergreen nature of history. These stories, these moments that have shaped our world, remain relevant, offering lessons and insights that resonate across the ages. Absolutely, Chuck. And as we delve into these chapters of the past, we uncover the threads that connect us to those who walk before us, reminding us of our shared humanity and the continuous narrative of human endeavor, ambition, and resilience. It's in this spirit that we extend a heartfelt thank you to you, our listeners, for joining us on these explorations. Your curiosity fuels our passion, and your support enables these stories to be told and retold, keeping the past alive and relevant. And speaking of support, we have a small favor to ask. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please help us spread the word. Share the podcast with friends, family, or anyone you think would enjoy diving into the annals of history with us. Your recommendations help us grow and continue to bring history to life. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. Your feedback not only helps us improve but also helps others find us. Every share, every like, and every review contributes to a larger community of history enthusiasts. And we're always looking to explore new chapters of history. If there's a topic you're burning to hear about, let us know on our social media channels. We're here to investigate the mysteries of the past together. Plus, remember to check out our merchandise. Not only can you own a piece of the History AI podcast, but your support also helps us keep this project going, bringing more stories from the past into the present. And as a thank you to our listeners, we're offering a 10% discount on your first purchase. Just use the code The History AI Podcast, all one word, at checkout. As we sign off, remember that history is not just about the past, it's a light that guides us in the present and illuminates the future. We're honored to share this journey with you. Until next time, keep the past alive in your thoughts and conversations. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Farewell from the History AI Podcast, and thank you for helping us keep history's legacy evergreen. Looking for the perfect way to show appreciation for the incredible mom in your life? Discover Exhausted Moms, a coloring journey to relaxation and humor, the coloring book that speaks directly to the heart of motherhood. Gift her an escape into pages of laughter, empowerment, and moments of tranquility. With Exhausted Moms, she'll find a blend of whimsical illustrations and inspiring quotes that celebrate her daily triumphs and challenges. Crafted with love from images I created for the mother of my children, each page offers a space for creativity and relaxation, a reminder that she's doing an amazing job, even on the toughest days. Give the gift of laughter, peace, and recognition. Exhausted Moms isn't just a coloring book, it's a hug, a nod of understanding, and a token of appreciation for everything she does. Surprise her with Exhausted Moms today and watch her face light up with joy. Because every mom deserves a moment to herself, wrapped in the colors of love and support.